This is Katie Boykin with your News in 90. Some Alachua County students met a famous face in their classroom. Rapper and Florida native Rod Wave met with students from Pace Center for Girls Alachua on Monday. Wave gave the students advice on how to stay concentrated on their success even during times of hardship. He says music keeps him focused and told the students to find something they are passionate about. The rapper also sang along with the girls to a few of his songs before he left. The Pace Center says it hopes the surprise meeting keeps the students motivated for their future. Three Florida women are behind bars after stealing credit cards. The women are nicknamed the Felony Lane Gang. They are accused of breaking into cars and stealing credit cards in several different Georgia towns. They also taunted police forces on social media, challenging officers to find and arrest them. Police officers arrested the women after a 15-mile car chase in Indiana. Police say thousands of dollars of stolen goods were found in the trunk of their car. They are expected to be extradited to Georgia to face additional charges. President Donald Trump has arrived in Vietnam to resume denuclearization talks with North Korea. Trump is hoping the prospect of a booming economy will convince North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, to fully disarm the isolated nation. However, Trump also says he is not in a rush because North Korea is not actively testing nuclear weapons. He is willing to settle for an official suspension of ballistic and nuclear missile testing. Kim Jong-un is expected to offer a reduction of nuclear arms. The summit is set to span Wednesday and Thursday. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.